Today we're showing how we introduced our new kitty, Loki, to our ferrets. Loki was quarantined away from our ferrets and other pets for three weeks just to make sure he wasn't sick with anything. After that, we first started introducing Loki by letting him sniff the ferrets through their cage bars. The bars were there for safety, and the ferrets could easily move away to the back parts of the cage if they were feeling threatened or scared. We did this a couple times a day for about a week. After that, we started introducing the ferrets one by one in a different area. We were always present for the interactions just to make sure nothing bad happened. There was always someone watching to make sure they didn't have a fight. We made sure to only introduce one ferret at a time so the cat wasn't overwhelmed. So we tried Winky first and we made sure to do it in an area that wasn't the ferret's cage. Honestly, one of the biggest issues was Loki really liked playing with their tails, just like he enjoys chasing those little furry cat toys. Loki actually even chases his own tail occasionally. Something I was watching for was making sure that Winky was actually approaching him. If Winky was trying to run away nonstop, obviously Winky didn't want to have anything to do with it. You can actually see Winky make a few attempts at approaching Loki. It's important to note that a scratch or a bite from a cat can actually be very dangerous. They have different bacteria on them. You want to make sure your interactions are not actually ending up with your ferrets injured. Here you can see Hagrid's first introduction to Loki. Unlike Winky, who actually was approaching Loki, Hagrid was not very interested. You can see at some point he actually comes up to me and starts climbing me to get away. This is something we have taught them when they're taking them out on hikes and walks, that if they're done or afraid, that they can start climbing us and we'll remove them from the situation. It took Hagrid more times than Winky to get used to Loki so he wasn't afraid of him anymore. After introducing them on the bed separately for a few days in a row, we then just opened up the ferret cage to see how the interaction would be there. Again, for the first week or so, we were always making sure to monitor all the situations. We didn't want to overstress Loki and we didn't want to overstress any of the ferrets. We wanted to make sure everyone was actually happy with the interactions. Something else that was important was making sure Loki the cat was actually big enough to handle himself. When we first found Loki, he actually weighed less than what the ferrets do. Ferrets have a tendency of playing very rough. We didn't want him smaller than the ferrets, risking him getting injured. When we first started introducing them, he was actually the same weight the ferrets were. Winky was initiating a lot of it, so if he started running away, I would have removed him from the situation. Winky was actually treating him the same way he treats his brothers when he wants to play. I know a lot of people will be very concerned for the ferrets when introducing a ferret and a cat, but you should also be very concerned for the cat. Ferrets are also hunters just like cats are, so they definitely can hold their own. So you can see here, Loki is actually the one running away. Just like when two ferrets are playing, one of the things you want to look out for is if they are peeing, pooping themselves, or if there's obviously any blood. Those are definite signs that it's no longer playing and that they're actually fighting. Eventually, you can see Winky and him actually starting to play a little bit. So I'm constantly looking for any of these signs. I do want to mention this is not the be all end all of like making sure your cat is okay with your ferrets. If you're not 100% okay at observing your pet's behavior, I would just recommend not putting them together. Again, a cat's bite or scratch can definitely cause major issues. So if you can't 100% understand the behaviors and how your animals are reacting, it's safer just to keep them apart.